Oh, you've got to be kidding me. When I started writing this movie, I had read this book that was encouraging women to pay attention to their subconscious when entering potentially dangerous scenarios. Those subliminal things that you're picking up that men often throw out that I just had no idea existed. Yeah. It was really eye-opening for me because I realized that as a man, I don't have to think about this ever. So I just wanted to write one scene where all of these threatening things are happening, but you're never quite sure if it really is dangerous. This is 476 Barbary, right? Yeah, I'm renting this place. No, I booked it a month ago. Why don't you come inside, and we'll call these idiots. So I thought of this scenario where a woman is checking into an Airbnb, and there's a man already there. That's a scary situation. Uh, I'm Keith. Tess. Tess. That's a pretty name. And he is putting out all of these red flags. Want some tea? Oh, OK. OK. Thank you. I'll just make you a cup. He's making her tea, even though she's already said she doesn't want tea. Seemingly innocuous things that were very threatening. If you want to crash even here, uh, where it's dry and there's a lock on the door, I'm totally fine with that. He insists he's going to go bring her luggage in. He's touching her things without her permission. Uh, I got it. No, 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 no. I can... You sure? Yeah. OK. It's very rare to come across horror films that just have a really good story. Most times when somebody who's not a horror writer writes a horror script, it's terrible. And I read the script and I said, I need to make this movie. I thought the script was really compelling and unpredictable. For a horror movie to work, it really has to surprise. I read hundreds of horror scripts, and this is one that really shocked me. I thought you wouldn't want any if you didn't see me open it. So I waited. I'm good, but you go ahead.